guys and welcome back to my channel so this video is a july favorite i know i haven't done a favorites video in quite a few months actually so hopefully this video will make up for the months that i've been away i don't have too many things but there's stuff that i have been really really liking the first favorites that i want to talk about is this henry bendel bag isn't this lovely? Um, I've never owned anything from Henry Bento and I've always heard very good things about this brand. But I actually received this in this month's Pop Sugar box and it was my first time trying Pop Sugar, um, the must have box. And I was pleasantly surprised. I received a lot of really, really awesome, nice things. Um, I think I am missing one item so I did talk to them about it. I haven't heard back yet. So hopefully that comes in. If not, it's okay. Uh, I'm sure they just ran out or something. But I received this little thing here. And when I saw that there was something of Henry Bendel, I freaked out. Because I always wanted to try them. And when I saw that it was a makeup bag, I absolutely love makeup bags. And the ones that I've been using are pretty small for all the stuff that I put in there. And when I received it, I was like, well, it's just a regular makeup bag, right? Mm, no. So if you open this, it has these two little um, strings here that you kind of hold to open it. And you kind of like pull them. And yeah, so I opened it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. But then, it's actually like a structured makeup bag. Like I've never seen that before. So it kind of stays open and it claps back out and in, if that makes sense. So um, after playing around with it for a while, I realized that you can actually store it quite a bit of stuff in here more than probably twice as much as I used to carry in my normal makeup bags this month's must-have box was actually um, themed around traveling and all that type of stuff so this bag is absolutely amazing for traveling not only can you store a lot of things that you normally wouldn't store um, but it's great um, to have it open and closed when you're like in a hotel or something so yeah very awesome product so the next item that I have is this delicious perfume that I have been obsessing with. It's uh, La Vie Belle from Lancome and it smells delicious. Um, I think it's a little floral and kind of sweet and since the moment that I started smelling this perfume I have been obsessed with it. Um, I bought the full size when we were in Paris and I bought a travel size recently from Sephora.com. Um, just because I wanted to take it up to work and have it with me during the day. So between these two, I smell like this every day, all day. Um, it's a lovely perfume and the packaging is gorgeous. The box is like shimmery and beautiful and you know that gets all girls. The next favorite I want to talk about is something that I'm actually wearing right now. Um, these Alex and Ani bracelets. Um, I've been acquiring them for a couple months now. I wanted them a long time ago. Um, I saw different people wearing them and I didn't want to be that girl that like had a ton of them but I still wanted like a good amount that I could wear. Um, and I started off with the purple one. I got it for my birthday. It's my uh, birthstone. And then I got this one from John's mom when I graduated. And then I bought this one for myself, the cap. And then I have a little penguin from John. So I have a bunch of these and I absolutely adore them. They're a little noisy and if you guys ever get bothered by them in the videos, let me know. Now that I pointed out, you probably will hear them more often. A few of them don't get too annoying, so hopefully um, I keep it this way. Um, I really like them, I like the look of them. This next product is a product that has been very well loved on YouTube lately. And it's a Becca um, Jaclyn Hill highlighter and champagne pop and it's a beautiful champagne color it looks like this and it's the one that i'm wearing right now i don't know if it's picking it up right now but it's absolutely gorgeous i have never owned any highlighter so when i saw that this one by jack on the hill was coming out i figured i would splurge on it and i'm very very happy that i did because it's absolutely gorgeous and every time i see somebody online that has it i'm like work a girl this looks gorgeous on anyone um, she said that her sister, which is a lot paler than her, um, wears it as well and I've seen photos of her and she looks as pretty. So I think it's just a matter of like how much you put, um, but I definitely recommend this uh, highlighter if you haven't already gotten it. Next I have this brush by the brand Glamier and I got this I think in my Ipsy uh, bag a couple months ago or so and it's just this like tapered uh, like synthetic brush. I don't really know how to describe it, but it looks like this, and it's a wonderful brush, um, and you can use it for different things. Um, I would probably use it for blending out like concealer under my eyebrows, 
or maybe even concealer under my eyes or I don't know there's so many useful ways to use this brush um, but lately I've been using it for blending out my eyeshadow actually um, even though it is like really good for probably blending out concealer or like spot um, concealer correcting uh, it has been great for blending out shadows up here I feel like um, this does a really good job if you have some colors that you want to blend out between both of them and you just want to have like a nice seamless look. Um, this will work absolutely amazing and I love how it looks too. Isn't it beautiful? It looks like the Sigma ones which I'm totally going to buy eventually. <laughs> um, but it's a beautiful brush um, and it does a great job at blending. The last item I have to talk about for my favorites is uh, a MAC lipstick that I purchased recently and every time I wear it, I get so many compliments so why not feature it in my favorite so everybody knows what this lipstick is. Um, it's in the color Relentlessly Red and it's a retro matte finish and it looks like this. It is absolutely gorgeous um, and the bright pink, reddish color, um, it translates very well on the lips and I've been wearing it right now for the summer. And it's a great color to have right now. It's bright. Um, and I have a color very similar to it. Once I bought this, I was like, hmm, why did I purchase this? But the finish is a little different. The other one is a little bit more creamier. And this one is a more of a matte finish. And it's beautiful. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a color that I saw online. And I knew I had to get it the second that I saw it. I actually saw it from... Um, I covered the or Alex here on YouTube and she had it on and I think her birthday video And I'm like, what's that color? Why does she look so gorgeous with it? So I picked it up and I have equally gotten as many compliments as she probably has So it's, it's absolutely gorgeous and I definitely recommend if you're looking for a bright pink uh, lipstick so that's it guys, this is my July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some of my favorite um, items for this month. And I definitely was very happy to start doing these July favorites again because I know I've been liking a lot of different products lately and I'm testing different products out and I'm trying everything that I can. So hopefully I can show you guys all these new items that I'm so in love with. Um, but let me know what you guys like this month and if you had any new products that you tried this month let me know so i can try them uh so i hope you guys liked this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe um, to get updates on all my new videos and i'll see you guys in the next